Welcome back, folks. Thanks for taking the time today to come and join me in this rather contentious topic. The question, does Microsoft spy on you? In a word, yes, but not to the extent that you might think. Microsoft is not some nefarious organization tracking everything that you do online and setting it to the highest bidder out there. So there are some things that you can do as an individual to help mitigate these privacy and security concerns. Because granted, they do grab too much data off of your computer. So join with me as today we are going to explore this topic of how to secure your computer and alleviate any privacy concerns that you might have. Hi, this is Steve, helping you make sense of your computer. Now, before we begin, I have to preface this whole conversation with something. I know that there are a lot of tools and utilities available out there. Free VBS scripts, free PowerShell scripts, free whatever it is to help you secure your computer. But as an old school technician, been doing this for almost 30 years now, I do not endorse scripts that change things on your computer. Because at some point or another, you are going to have an issue. You're either going to be too locked down and you can't do what you want to do as a regular user. Or here's the worst thing. Some of those scripts, when Windows updates to the latest version, you run an old script. It's designed for the old version of Windows and it doesn't work properly on the new version. Or even worse, it can actually corrupt the new version of Windows. So as a user, I tend to stay away from any script that modifies my system. Come on, let's go and figure out how to secure our computer. Oh my, what a tangled web we weave, Microsoft. When it comes to security, you need to become more educated because Microsoft is doing things in the background that most of us are not even aware of. First thing I want to show you, I want to create a new account on this computer. So to create a new account, we click on Start, go into Settings, and under Accounts, click on Family and Users, add someone to this PC. And this is the point here that I want to make is don't use a Microsoft email to sign into your computer. If you already have, change it to a local account because there's a lot more information being sent to Microsoft when you're signing in with a Microsoft account than you, than you realize. So what I'll do here is I'll say I don't have this person signing information. Next screen, add a user without a Microsoft account. And just for the sake of this video, I'm going to create a new account called Privacy. Set up a password. And with the new version of Windows 10, you have to provide three security questions and answers in order to recover your password should you forget it. Which is not a bad thing because I've had a lot of clients that have forgotten their passwords over time and have had to hack into it to reset it. So once you've selected your security questions, your answers, click on Next. And as you can see, the one that we've called Privacy is currently set as a local account. It is limited for what it can do, or in, in some cases, people refer to it as a standard account. Simply click on it, change account type, and change it to an administrator. There we go, now we're all set. I'm just gonna sign out of this account, log back in with the new account, and continue showing you some of the settings to avoid when it comes to security and Microsoft Windows. So you've turned your computer back on and you're signing back in for the first time. Here's a screen that you'll typically get. Now bear in mind, the screen can be one of two things. It's either this, where all the options are on one screen, or Microsoft also presents it with each of these options on their own screen. Read through the options, but generally, I deselect and recommending deselecting every option on this screen. They don't need to target you with ads and to track your keyboard strokes or anything like that. There's no reason for it. So turn everything off. Click on accept. And here you are back into your account. Ah! The whole world's gonna die. Microsoft is spying on you. They're collecting so much data. You don't know what you're gonna do with it. They're gonna sell it off to the highest bidder and you're gonna be hacked and your computers are gonna be stolen. Your information's gonna be compromised. Let's get real, people. What a bunch of hogwash. 
There are so many videos on the internet that go way overboard with the issue to do with Windows 10 and its privacy and security settings. Yes, Microsoft does collect telemetry data. It's diagnostic information that is sent back to their servers. They say it's used to enhance the user experience. And to some degree, I do agree with that. But they do collect too much. I will agree with all the fear mongers out there that yes, they do collect too much. But it's not as bad as you think because all of these settings can be disabled. The first setting that you want to do is actually a service. Just in your run dialog box, type services dot msc which will bring up all the services on your computer you're simply looking for one in here that's called connected user experience Just a couple more down there there it is collector use connected user experiences and telemetry now simply disable this service if you're really concerned about everything disable the service and it's no longer going to be running in the background now keep in mind the next windows 10 update will probably re-enable this service again so you do have to do this on a regular basis just come back in check it and away you go now there's a couple of other places you can look in windows pro and windows 10 pro and up has a wonderful thing called group policy unfortunately this is not included in the Windows 10 Home Edition. In Group Policy, you can go under the Administrative Templates. Uh, where is it? Windows Components. Data Collection and Preview Builds. And on the right-hand side here, if we just expand our screen, is Allow Telemetry. You can disable this or enable it. Just read through the options here as to exactly what it is. If you enable it, you can change the telemetry settings from zero through three. Now zero usually only happens, um, very few people would use uh, zero because you have need the enterprise edition of Windows 10. Most of it will default to basic or enhanced or full if you've allowed it to collect full information. I don't always recommend it. Mine, I usually have set to basic because I allow them to collect some data and that's not a problem. So you can set it there. If you have Windows 10 Home, you can simply type reg edit or reg reg edt32, come into the registry and then just scroll through the registry under H key local machine, software, policies, under policies we have Microsoft, Windows, and under there is data collection. This setting right here, Reg D word of allow telemetry, is the same as what we just had in the group policy. So if you're using Windows 10 Home, change the value here. One is to security only, or sorry, zero is to security only, one is to basic, two enhanced, and three full. That'll basically do exactly what it would, you would do with the group policy editor. Now, the next thing to keep in mind as well, once again, click on start and type task scheduler. Once you see it come up, open up your task scheduler. This is where I have a bit of a problem with Microsoft. Yes, they do collect telemetry data. Now, more so than the privacy concerns, where I have the issue is that I've seen computers where the diagnostic data is using upwards of 50 to 80% of the CPU. That to me is unacceptable. The telemetry data cannot infringe on your work on the computer. And when the CPU bumps up like that because Microsoft's collecting data, then I do have a problem. So in the task scheduler, simply expand it. And what, you, what you're gonna be looking for is the application experience that task that seems to run. Okay, once you're in the task scheduler library, expand Microsoft expand windows and here we have the customer experience improvement program this consolidator is one of the things that is collecting telemetry data you can go through the options to see exactly what it's doing but what you might want to do instead is just simply disable it highlight the task up top here click on disable and you've simply disabled that particular data collector. The other one that we need to disable while we're in the task scheduler is if you go up to the top here, um, 
the application experience, this one right here, the Microsoft Compatibility Appraiser. This is the one that is collecting most of the telemetry data. Simply click on this guy and disable it. Then you can close your task scheduler. Those are the ones that I have a problem with because they take up way too much CPU time. And if you have an older computer, boy, do you notice the difference. And you try to blame the operating system, but meanwhile, it's because Microsoft is collecting data. So I guess in a sense, it is the operating system that's at fault. Okay, the kind of things you do want to go through. Bring up your settings, and under settings, go into privacy. These are the fields I would honestly recommend going through each and every one of them and disable what you find is questionable. Now, for me personally, I do disable all of these. I don't need Windows to track my app launches. Why? Why do you care what program I'm using? I don't want to see suggested content. I want to use what I want to use. I don't need you to tell me what I'm going to use. In every one of these settings on the left hand side click on each one and go through them online speech recognition i turn off inking and typing definitely turn this one off thing is on it's tracking everything you're typing and it's saying it's using that to make life easier for you to improve handwriting and speech recognition for when you're using voice commands on the computer but i'm still leery of that one so i turn it off activity no, no, no. This one I don't agree with at all. I don't need you to see what I'm doing on my computer. And definitely don't need you to send this information to Microsoft. So don't store this. Come in here, disable them, and clear your activity history. Other things you want to look at is your location. Um, typically speaking, if you've got a laptop, a lot of people turn location on because they want to be able to put the weather or no matter where they are and various things. But I personally turn it off. Your camera, if you're using your camera, such as Zoom meetings and things like that, come through here and have a look at which apps, because this is mostly relevant to Windows 10 apps. If it's not a Windows 10 app, this does it doesn't need to be turned on. So if you're using your camera app itself, definitely turn it on, but come through here and turn off for all other apps that are, you know and is not using your camera. Your desktop apps, that's the one you'd want to leave on if you're using Zoom or other programs. Same thing with your, micro, with your microphone. It's exactly the same thing. The apps that you don't think are going to use your microphone, Cortana, I don't use it. The feedback, I don't know why you'd want to know that. And Microsoft Photos, why would it access my microphone? I don't use my computer for games, so I turn that off as well. So most of these settings you can safely turn off. Voice activation, well, if you're using voice activation, certainly turn it on, but no, I don't use it, so I turn it off. Notifications, this is up to you again. If you, if you allow access, you can choose which apps, but really, do you want to be bothered all the time by notifications? I know I don't, so I usually turn it off. Account info, no, why would you want programs to access your account information? There's no reason for that. Same as your contacts. Why would you want any program? I use Microsoft Outlook, so I don't use the mail and calendar app. So why would they need to access my contacts? Same on the calendar side here. Uh, I don't use their built-in calendar. Phone calls, same thing. Don't use it. Turn it off. Allow apps to access your call history. No, why? Turn them all off. Like, I am being serious here. Go through each one of these and read what it says because a lot of this stuff, really, you don't need it turned on. The best thing that this is going to do with you is it's going to speed up your computer significantly if you disable this stuff. Background apps, please go through this. I couldn't understand why some computers that I've dealt with were running so slow. So I started looking at these background apps and by default, everything is turned on. And that means they're running in the background, they're updating, they're collecting, they're doing all kinds of stuff. Now, I do use alarms, so I leave the alarms and clock on. We don't need the rest of this stuff to run in the background. Why? I only want an app to run when I'm actually using it. I don't want it to utilize my resources. 
So everything in here that I'm that's of no purpose to run over time. Weather, yeah, because I like using MSN weather. So I have that running in the background. So the rest of the stuff, turn it off. It'll speed up your computer. App diagnostics, really? Why do they need it? Turn that off as well. Mm, documents library as well. There's no reason to have it on. Same thing with pictures. Why do do pictures need to access or why do apps need to access your pictures library? I don't think they do. So I do go through every one of these and I do turn them off. There are times where some of this you would want to turn on. Just come into here, go back into privacy, look at the setting that you want to turn it on and certainly turn it on the ones that you do actually use. Bring up the task manager every on a regular basis and under the processes tab, typically you might see the task manager would be this view. Simply click on more details and have a look at your CPU. You can click on the CPU column once to sort it by highest utilization to lowest. And you can see what's using up your CPU. And this is where I found out with a lot of computers I was troubleshooting that the telemetry data is what was using a lot of processing cycles and killing the performance of the computer. So certainly do come in here, take the time, disable stuff that you're concerned about, but whatever you do, please don't listen to the fear mongers out there. Microsoft isn't spying on you in the sense that you might think. They are collecting data that I do believe they shouldn't be collecting, but it is a good operating system. It's great to use. Just exercise a bit of caution, take a bit of time, set it up properly, and you won't have any issues. Thanks again, folks, for popping by. I hope that you found this topic of interest and that now you have the necessary tools and know-how to secure your computer and to alleviate all those concerns. And like I said a couple of times, people have taken this too far. It's not as bad as they make it out to be. So rest assured, follow a few standard principles. Your computer will be secure and you'll feel a lot better about using the computer. So if you found this topic of any use to you, please take a moment to give me a good thumbs up Hit the subscribe button in the bottom of the, of the screen here. That would be greatly appreciated. And please leave me a comment. I'm always interested in hearing what my viewers would like to hear next or what they thought of this topic, whether there's anything I've missed, overlooked, or whether you have some valuable insight to share with the rest of us. Thanks again and have a fantastic day.